Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is lecture one of uh, analytical study of Surah Al Imran, chapter three. And in this first lecture, we will cover first five sections, five rukus of Surah Al Imran, important points, ruku by ruku, section by section. So, Verse number one and three, one to three, it starts with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Allah is the proper noun of uh, the Supreme Being, our Creator. And then Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, two beautiful attributes have been mentioned. And then it starts with Alif Lam Mim, Haruf e Muqattaat, disjointed letters. And these three letters stand for An Allahu Alam that. Uh, Allah, I am Allah, the all-knowing. This is the meaning of this, an Allahu alam. And then after claiming the oneness of God or expressing that one, two life-sustaining attributes of al-hayyu al-qayyum uh, that has been mentioned. Al-hayyu al-qayyum. And verse number four and five, it tells us about the revelation of the book, Holy Quran, Torah, and Injil. Wa anzal al-Tawrat wa al-Injil. Nazzal alayk al-Kitab bil-Haqi, musaddiq al-Lima bayna yadehi wa anzal al-Tawrat wa al-Injil. Verse number five is about severe punishment for those who disbelieve Allah's sign. Inna al-Ladin kafaru bi ayat Allah ilahum adab shadid. Verse number six tells us about that nothing is hidden from Allah, from the earth and the heaven. Verse number seven is proclaiming that Allah is the fashioner of human face. And he makes uh, the features of our bodies because he is musavvir. Verse number eight, there are two kinds of verses in the Holy Quran which have been mentioned. And uh, one are muhkamat, very clear, precise, and uh, decisive, and wal mutashabihat, allegorical, metaphorical. And then two kinds of people have been mentioned skeptical and those who are firm in knowledge. So those who are skeptical, they are basically, they follow those uh, metaphors and they do not follow the muhkamat which are clear in the message and their main inclination to find the faults or objections raising the objections and opposite to those skeptical these are the rasik fil ilm or rasikuna fil ilm those who are firm in knowledge and they continue to pray almighty allah First of all, they say that uh, everything which has been re revealed through the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is uh, from our Lord, our Rabb, and we believe in that one. And then they pray, Rabbana la tuzikhulubana ba'da izhadaitana, very beautiful prayer, verse number nine, and uh, prayer for continued guidance. And then there is a statement that, O oh Allah, Rabbana inna kajami unnasi diyawmilla raiba fi that uh, surely you are going to gather, collect the people for this uh, day of uh, reckoning, the day of uh, Hisab, the yawm, la raiba fi. There is absolutely no doubt in uh, its coming. And then Ruku number two, section number two, verse number 11, there is a possessions and children shall not, shall not avail haughty disbelievers, those who are proud, vainly proud, their possessions and children will not avail anything for their benefit. Then verse number 12 tells us about the disbelievers that they will be punished in the both worlds, not only in this world, but also in the hereafter. And that is their end. Verse number 13 and 14, it tells us about the Battle of Badr, Ghazwa Badr, Battle of Badr, where Allah Ta'ala manifested his uh, power 
and uh, his uh, help towards the believers and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Verse number 15, 16, eight desirable things of the world for people which they feel very attracted to, towards them, they have been mentioned. And then uh, four inamat, the four rewards, they have been mentioned that those who will prefer to Allah and his religion and uh, they will do their best amal, righteous deeds, they will be given four kinds of spiritual rewards and they have been mentioned in verse number 16. Then a beautiful prayer seeking forgiveness of Almighty Allah is mentioned in 17, verse number 17. Verse number 18, five important attributes of the believers they have been mentioned that those in Amat, those spiritual rewards, and uh, they will be for those who are asabirin, those who are uh, firm in their uh, exercise of their good deeds, asabirin, patient, and those who are truthful, Walqanitina, obedient, wal munfikina, those who spend in the way of Allah wisely, wal mustaghfirina bil ashar, and they seek forgiveness of Almighty Allah uh, in pre dawn uh, time, that time. Sahur. So, then verse number 20 tells us about the oneness of Allah, that is the true way of life is Islam. Inna dina in the il Islam, that in the sight of Allah, the True religion, true way of life is Islam. Then verse number 20 tells us, uh, 21, that uh, Prophet's responsibility is to convey the message, the revelation. And uh, that is the only. And if they turn away, those who have been warned, those who have been given this message, then Allah Ta'ala knows the best. Uh, but uh, this is not a responsibility uh, the responsibility upon the Prophet is just to convey and then it is up to Allah to guide them or not according to their deeds. Wallahu basirun bil ibad Allah Ta'ala knows very well each section of the society. What, was the, what were their intentions or desires inside, outside? And then Ruku number three is about verse number 22, warning to those who oppose the prophets, those who, uh, who persecute or uh, disbelieve upon the message of the prophets and they may make severe opposition to them. Warning has been issued by Allah to them. And then verse number 25, Jews practice and refutation of their beliefs. They believe that for a very limited time, they will be entered into, into hell if, if there is any punishment for them or any uh, verdict against them. And it has been refuted that this is not the case. Verse number 26, that, that everybody will be gathered, collected, all people will be gathered for the day of reckoning for this uh, judgment and the full justice will be exercised. Verse number 27 and 28, a beautiful indirect prayer comprising Allah's attributes have been mentioned and where mu'minin uh, basically uh, in a individual Style, they say, Kulillahumma, that proclaim, say this message or manifest or express your inner feelings in front of Allah. Allahumma malik al mulki tu'til mulka man tashaw, that has been mentioned that uh, indirectly we are praying that, O oh Allah, have mercy upon us and give us your bounties and blessings. Then, verse number 28, Allah Ta'ala says that uh, all good belongs to Allah and is uh, in his hand. He possesses all the khair for uh, his creation. And then 
it says that وَتَرْزُقُ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابُ that this is also a prayer to Almighty Allah that people are saying that you are the one who provides without reckoning, without uh, any hisab. Then verse number 29. La yattakhidil mu'minun Prohibition for not befriending the disbelievers that do not befriend, do, do not make disbelievers your fast friend, your very uh, close friend. It has been disallowed. Verse number 30 says that Allah knows what is in, is in the hearts. Whatever people conceal, hide or express, or manifest, Allah Ta'ala knows the best. Because he has all the power upon everything. Wallahu ala kulli shayin kadeer. Verse number 31, that every soul will ultimately know the result, whatever it has hidden anything or manifested. Everything will be visible on the scale. And those wrongdoers, they will they will desire that would that there is a distance between this day of that evil between him, that person, or that evil. He ultimately, he would wish that would that I would have not done that. Wallahu ra'ufum bil ibad, but Allah is very kind towards his ibad people. Ruku number four, verse number 32. Qul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah fattabi'uni. That O Prophet proclaim, convey this message to the people, to the believers, that if you love Allah, then follow me. And as a result, Allah Ta'ala will, follow, Allah Ta will uh, love you and will forgive your sins. And also proclaim that obey Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And remember that Allah does not love those who are disobedient. Those who are disobedient or disbelievers or ungrateful people. Verse number 34 and 35, Allah Ta'ala mentions about two very chosen person, individuals by name, Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Nu alayhi salam. And two families have been mentioned by name, Ali Ibrahim and Ali Imran, people of Abraham and people of Imran. Verse number 36 about Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam, mother of uh, Hazrat Maryam, that she promised to Almighty Allah before the birth of her child that I will submit my child for your service your service, O oh Allah. I will devote my child's life for the sake of the religion, for the sake of Allah. 
verse number 37, 38, birth of Mary, Hazrat Maryam, it has been mentioned, and that how Allah accepted the prayer of her mother, Ummi Maryam, and then what was the blessing, blessed upbringing of Hazrat Maryam, Hazrat Zakriya was made her kafil, guardian. And then it mentions also verse number 38 that Hazrat Maryam was given spiritual risk, providence, bounties, and blessings from Almighty Allah without reckoning. Verse number 39 to 41, prayer of Hazrat Zakriya al-Islam for righteous progeny, children, and he was given glad tidings, glad news by the angels for his son, the Yahya Islam, and the four qualities of that promised son has been mentioned. So Hazrat Yahya was a promised son and was given four qualities. That is verse number 41. that uh, what will be the sign for this one? How should I behave? What should I do? Then he was guided that you should engage yourself in the glorification of Al Almighty Allah. Day and night, morning and evening, and uh, stay calm. Engage yourself in tasbihat and remembrance of Almighty Allah. Ruku number five, verse number 43. There is a dialogue of angels with Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam, and the three status of uh, status have been mentioned there. That Allah Ta'ala has chosen her, in Allah Tafaki wa Taharaki, and has purified her, and was Tafaki Allah Nisail Alameen also chosen, given the preference, chosen and spiritual leader of the female believers of her time. And then three commandments have been given what to do to Hazrat Maryam. Ya Maryam. Mukunuti li rabbiki. Ya Maria Mukunuti li rabbiki was judi workaim arraki. Be obedient to your Lord, prostrate, and be among those who bow down. So basically, engage yourself in the individual and the collective congregational ibadat acts of worship. Verse number 45 mentions that all these episodes, these incidents of the past, Hazrat Nabi Akrim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was informed by Almighty Allah himself about that, true revelation. He did not copy from any gospel, any other scripture or any other book, but the previous everything which is mentioned in the Quran and in this case here about Hazrat Zakariya, Hazrat uh, Maryam, all that is uh, he knew through revelation. And Hazrat Zakariya was the guardian of Hazrat Maryam. And the time where this guardianship was being decided, Allah Ta'ala mentions that you were not at that time present. We are telling you now what happened at that time. 
verse number 46 and 47 glad news to hazrat maryam by the angels and five or six attributes have been mentioned of hazrat masih ibn maryam his name will be the messiah he said ibn maryam he will be commanding wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah in this world and uh, in the next world means very respected honored wajihan wamin al muqarrabin and also having the close ranks in sight of allah or wa yukallimu an nas fi al mahdi wa kahlan wa min al salihin and allah taala will give him quwwat e bayan power of speaking power of uh, narration in early of his life and also in his uh, senior life age old age as well fil mahdi wa kahlan wa min as salihin he will be among the righteous according to hazrat khalifat ibn masi ibn rabi rahimullah taala in tarjumat al quran under this verse number 47 he gives that basically uh commonly people think that he used to speak while he was in cradle in early childhood as who says actually hazrat masih ibn maryam used to tell about his uh, dreams of the future the prophet heard was not granted in the childhood as uh, commonly people think and other school of thoughts it was given at the right time as prophethood was given to other prophets and at that time the yahud the jews they started persecuting him or opposing him or rejecting him but in the childhood he was uh, quite eloquently telling the his uh, dreams of the future and also his speech was full of hikmat very wise talking he used to do verse number 48 the surprise of hazrat maryam upon the dialogue of hazrat uh, of the angels that he will she would be granted a son of these qualities but this verse number 48 tells us that that is the manifestations of allah's power اذا قضى امرا فانما يقول له كن فيكون that when allah decides something to do he just say be kun fayakun and then all evolutionary process starts and step by step with the reach that matter is decided and that matter is uh, perfected verse number 49 four things will be taught to messiah that is a great prophecy wa yu'allimuhu al-kitaba wal hikmata wat tawrata wal injil that allah taala will teach him the book teach him the wisdom torah and injil the gospels verse number 50 51 it has been declared wa rasulan ila bani israil hazrat masih ibn maryam alai salam was a messenger was a prophet to bani israil messenger to bani israil israelites his miracles and qualities have been mentioned in these two verses and basically these are the spiritual qualities and the metaphors 
that I will create birds from the from clay. I will inspire them and they will become the birds. I will heal blind. So verse number 50, all these are the spiritual signs given to Prophet Isa alayhi wasalam. They were the spiritually blind people. By their hearts. And by the inspiring teaching and his own example, his inspiration, his uh, preaching, they became spiritual birds flying towards the high ranks of the spirituality. And also, I will tell you what to eat points to the fact that Hazrat Isa Wasalam used to explain the limits of eating according to the Sharia of Torah, given in Torah. What to eat, what not to eat, how to behave in life, physically, what to do for to increase the spirituality, and also his teaching about love and compassion, tolerance. He always preached the unity of God, oneness of God. In Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'abudu, hadha sirat mustaqim, verse number 52. And when he perceived that some people are not as much strong as he wanted to, or they are not equal in their level of their perception or their response towards his call, Falamma Hassa Isa Minhumul Kufra, verse number 53, then he asked them, Who will be my helpers, my Ansar? Man Ansari Irallah. So call al khawari yuna nahnu ansarullah, those who are his disciples, real followers, they straightway said that we are the helper of Allah. Means we will help you for the sake of Allah. We believe in him. Amanna billah, we believe in Allah. Washhad bi anna muslimun. And we are the obedient. Rest assured that we are the obedient. And the beautiful prayer has been mentioned, verse number 54. That our Lord, we believed in what you have revealed. We followed the Prophet. Write us among those who are shahideen. Who give witness. Wa makaru wa makarullah wallahu khairul makdeen verse number 55, ruku number 5 last verse those who are the rejectors or the unbelievers disbelievers of Prophet Jesus, Prophet Isa wasalam, they made a secret plan to destroy him, to kill him to persecute him and Allah Ta'ala who sent his prophet, who was the teacher or the supporter of his prophet, Masih ibn Maryam, Masih wasalam, also made a plan to frustrate their plans. Wallahu khairul makirin, and Allah is the best among those who make plans. Means Allah's 
weigh his power is super and all shar can be overcome by the khair created by allah the almighty wa makaru wa makarullah wallahu khairul makirin so this is the end of lecture 1 the first five verse five ruku up to verse 55 surah al imran chapter 3